Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. This video is the first of a series that will explain mixing and mastering of a song. And um, that's an exercise that I do uh, once or twice a year. Uh, I download the tracks that are being recorded in the Pro Studio, some free tracks. I'm gonna put the link in the description. And um, why I'm doing this, because uh, of course, I'm used to mix my own tracks the way that I record them in my studio and uh, listening to tracks that are recorded somewhere else. Uh, let me um, have an idea of uh, where we start and where we end uh, while mixing. And sometimes we judge our tracks very hard and we shouldn't. Uh, because a, a bass drum track might sound very uh, normal and maybe uh, not very hyped uh, when we record it, but after the mix, it takes all the place that it needs and it, get big, it gets bigger with the effects and, and, and all the mixing. Um, so this is the first part, uh, which will be the preparation of the session. Uh, that might be boring for some, but for me, it's uh, a bit of time that I put in every time and it saves me time uh, afterward because I'm not searching for tracks. Uh, they, they are color uh, coded, so it's easier to work. So I'm gonna show you all that I do uh, for that part. So the first preparation of a session. The next videos will be about uh, the volume spannings and uh, start to uh, establish an ambience and then the dynamics and stuff like that. But for now, the preparations, let's dive in right away. So uh, you received some tracks to mix from a customer or you just finished the recording and you have all the tracks already in a folder. Uh, the first thing I would do is to classify them and put them in order uh, by adding a number before the name of the track. Uh, so I will put the number in which uh, I want them to appear in my mixing software. And um, so the, you see that it's already done here. And uh, once that's done, um, I would open my uh, DAW and create a new project. So multi-project. Um, so this is going to be named I Smell Sex in Candy. And uh, you see that Semplitude creates a folder uh, with the same name, so it's easy to follow. Uh, but I want it to be in another folder, so I'm going to browse and choose um, Mixing Series and then Mixing Remember. Yeah, this is where I want the files to go. And uh, as a project template, I'm going to choose um, I'm going to choose uh, eight tracks to bus to aux, and I will adjust the quantity uh, one, once it's open. And there you go. We have uh, the eight tracks, the buses, uh, the aux. So um, the next step will be to add enough tracks. So you see there's 22 track, uh, 23 th tracks and we only have um, eight. So we're going to add the 16. It's going to give us one more track. Uh, so insert tracks, several tracks. Uh, 16. Okay. So that gives us 24 tracks. So if we want to uh, do some effects or add something on it, 
it's going to be one spare. Um, then we're going to import those tracks. File. You could drag them in. Um, but here I'm going to use the import. Oops. Load audio files. And we're going to click Control A to select them all. And we're going to click on Open. Um, load files in alph alphabetical order. This is important. That's why I, I did put a number before each uh, name of the tracks. And uh, I want them to be loaded on different tracks, not in a row. So that's good. And we just uh, click OK. And I'm going to say yes to convert. I prefer working in into uh, 96 uh, kilohertz, but some people will uh, prefer working in the original format. Uh, so I will say convert and do not ask me for this project. That's good. So once all the tracks are loaded in your DAW, um, the first thing I would do is to name the tracks um, to reflect the content. So that's what I'm going to do right away. I'm choosing very short names uh, because when I use my controller. Uh, there's a limit of character that can be uh, displayed. SN for snare. Okay, uh, once that's done, a uh, good thing to do would be uh, to put them in uh, buses uh, so it's easier to control every instrument uh, section together. And sometimes you, you're going to combine effects for the whole section too, so it might sa save you time. Um, for me, a good place would be to go into the mixer and set up. And uh, we're going to add some buses. So one for the drum, one for the guitar, uh, one for the brasses. Um, and one for the keys. We're going to start with that. And the ox will go... Uh, we're going to do them uh, later. Okay. So uh, we're going to place them. Let's see. Bus one is going to be drums. So, dome floor, conga. Um, I'm going to include the. Uh, the perks into the drums. Oops. Like this. Bass, I will leave it alone. Um, so electric guitar. Like. Like this. Uh, keys. And brass. Like this. Oops. Brass. And why not? Um, I'm going to add one more, uh, which I will call pre-master. So it's going to be a pre uh, pre-master and 
what this will allow me to do is to um, put effects on the old mix uh, before it hits uh, the master channel. So, so once you've created your buses, um, you need to redirect tracks to those. So uh, I'll select the drum and the percussions. And I'm going to send them to the drum bus named drums. And after that, the drum bus itself uh, will go to my pre-master. Um, same thing with the bass, pre-master, because there's no bus for the, the bass. Um, and then uh, the electric guitars, they will go to electric and then the electric bus will go to pre-master and after that the keys will go to keys and the keys uh, bus will go to pre-master you start to get the point don't you um brasses go to brass and brass go to pre-master like this, and we did not create uh, buses for um, the back vocals and lead, but those tracks uh, need to go to the pre-master anyway. So, whoops, pre-master, like this. Okay, so everything will go to either a bus or directly to pre-master, um, and then the pre-master itself goes to uh, the stereo master, which are the, the main outputs, okay? Uh, next step would be to color code them, maybe. Um, I'm going to put the mixer aside, and we're going to... In Simplitude, I have some buttons that adjust the size of each track. So this one goes for showing from the first, uh, from the beginning to the end of the song or the project. And this one goes from the first track to the last track, including the, the buses. So what I'm going to do is select the old drum with the drum bus. You see? And I'm going to change the color. So that's good. And after that, uh, the base could be yellow. And the electric guitars. Could be... I'm trying to avoid taking orange because when I do a selection on a track, it turns orange. So anything else will do. Uh, we'll take green. And then the keys. You get to choose the colors you want. If it makes sense to you. I like keys to be purple. I don't know why. Um, and the brass, brass uh, will maybe uh, make you turn red <laughs> if they're too loud. So let's go in red and the uh, vocals, I will leave them like that. So if I go back like this, you see that the colors uh, are all done. It will help me to mix and, uh, of course, to find tracks when I want to modify something. So I have the names, the colors, and the, all those are replicated in the mixer as well. So colors, names. All right. Uh, so the first thing I would do is to uh, adjust volumes and panning on uh, of each tracks. Uh, so it gives something... Um, that can be listened to and uh, it gives us an ID as well if there's some uh, any problems. Uh, I'm using a controller so you're gonna see both images to see what I do. Uh, usually I just play from start and react. <laughs> Thank you. 
double cherry pie. Okay, so what I did there is um, choose to uh, keep the trombone in the middle because there's more uh, low notes content. And I did put the trumpet and the saxophone on the side. That's one thing I did. Um, of course, I did uh, something similar with uh, the Leslie and uh, the keyboard, the CP80. Uh, both electric guitars too. I did put them on the side. Um, all this to give space to uh, the, the drum and the, the bass and the vocals. So we're going to continue. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please click on like, consider subscribing and hit the bell to get notification. Um, of course, this is only the preparation. The next step will be to start the mixing, doing some dynamics, uh, EQs, stuff like that. So stay tuned for the next part. And uh, if you want to start to mix the same song, please download the files. The link is in the description. And uh, put a link in the description too. We will compare our results. Uh, I'm not saying that mine will be better. We all have our style and kind of sound that we like. But it'll be fun to, uh, to compare our results. And um, of course, share my videos. It's always a great help for uh, the channel. And um, see you for the next one.